today I am going to try and win the monthly football manager award at my works fantasy football premier league competition thing now i'm doing very badly i'm probably towards the bottom i mean i'm probably at the bottom i'm probably at the bottom i've done very bad this season and particularly i've done badly in april um this week the average points was 49 bearing in mind i did three transfers in uh costing me eight points already uh I'm on 22 points without the 8 point deduction, uh, so that will be, what, 16? Uh, no, 14. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, because one of the things that happened is I captained Knockyart, and he got me minus 1 for a red card, so he got me minus 2 in the end. Um, yeah, annoying, annoying. So as it says, the average score is 49 points. I'm on sort of 14. So... I, I, I basically because I've lost I've lost April I've lost April so what needs to happen is I need to go for May May is the last month and there's two uh, lots of fixtures this this lot here and then this lot here now what I'm going to do I'm going to use maths and cunning I'm basically going to use a wild card I'm going to use a wild card in April now the eagle eyed people upon you might well you can't see actually um, but if I were to click on transfers the eagle, eagle-eyed people may say, oh, well, you still can't see it on there, actually. Guys, I've got no wild card left. I haven't got a wild card left, so I can't use a wild card. So I'm just going to use as many transfers as it means and get, what, minus 4, 8, 16, 24, 30, 60, 100, minus 100 points or something, sacrifice it to just get the best May possible. Um, I have got my triple captain left. Basically, guys, I'm going to use maths. I'm going to use a strictly math-based system and I'm going to choose all the best players for the biggest difference between position. So I'm going to look at the Premier table. So basically, ideally I need Huddersfield all the way down there to be to be facing Liverpool. Is that a thing? Liverpool Huddersfield. Huddersfield Man U, Man U are pretty high. And <clears throat> Huddersfield Southampton, that won't be as big. Um, anyway, guys, but I'm going to use math based systems there. So I'm going to do a, uh, a new spreadsheet over here and calculate it, and then I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so I've made the chart. This shows uh, the teams, the top 10 teams, and then who they're playing week one of May, and then who they're playing week two of May, and then what the table difference is between them and then the total table difference. So as you can see, way in the lead there is Manchester United with a tw total of 26 table places difference in their two matches. Uh, Arsenal second, and what, Liverpool and City very close with uh, with third and fourth respectively. So you definitely want to focus on, well, this is, this is the mathematical approach I'm taking, is I'm going to concentrate most of my money and players on, on certainly those four teams, uh, certainly Man United first, and then the others uh, follow up and obviously see um, see what I can do. So these teams are obviously doing really well. Um, Liverpool looking at form. Form is obviously important. Liverpool and City both doing well on form. Uh, I guess the next best team doing on form is what? Leicester. But then Leicester have got an awful time over here because they've got uh, minus three. Um, yeah, so next stage is I'm going to do, I didn't actually mention this in my previous time that I pressed record, but I'm going to do top goal scorers, uh, which team they play for, and then who the top goal conceder teams are, and see if there's any any crossover. Right, this is possibly fascinating, right? Uh, Huddersfield and Cardiff have got the lowest goals for this column here, so 19 and 28 out of the whole football league. Uh, they've got the lowest number of goals scored. Uh, Manchester United are playing against Huddersfield and Cardiff. So you would be mental not to put De Gea. De Gea in your squad. Okay, guys. So I'm here at the moment. Um, I'm missing one player. And I've only got 2.2 in the bank. So that means I've got to compromise more. I've already compromised. I've already downgraded Robertson to Alexander. Uh, is it Alexander-Arnold? Um, I've downgraded Salah to Mane or Main. Uh, I've downgraded. Who else did I downgrade? Maybe I've maybe I've just done those few. Um, 
yeah, I so I, I, I guess I now need to flag these up as whether I'll uh, compromise on them. I am not compromising on Lacazette. I am not compromising on Aubameyang. I am not compromising on any Manchester United. Um, so I guess I need to compromise on probably... Probably Lucas Moura. But I like him and he's pretty cheap, especially in comparison to Mane. Maybe I need to compromise on Mane. Okay, next upgrade. I've not done full team. I wasn't having full team thinking on. So obviously I've got Conley in who I'm... I'm not even going to play, obviously. He's just a bench person, and I'm not going to bench. Just put Elliot in, again, just for the bench bench price. Not going to put him in. Uh, so that has... I've got a full team now, and I've got 1.6 million to spare. So basically, someone can get upgraded. So I need to have a look. I put Mi Mikachu... I put that guy in. Um, so that, yeah, now I've got to look for 1.6 million of upgrade. Okay, I've made another change. Uh, so I'm going to play 3, 4, 3... Uh, so that means I only need two defenders, uh, three defenders. So I've got another cheap defender in for Walker. So I'm getting there. Um, yeah, I've now got 3.1 in the bank though, so I can upgrade someone. I'm thinking about upgrading Mora to, um, to Sun. Oh God, stressful guys. This is really stressful. Don't know what to do. I keep changing my mind. I keep changing things around. Basically, I don't want to have any money left over. I don't, want to, I don't want to lose money on having money left over, right? So, this is what we're looking like right now, right? <clears throat> so, what do you think? I've got Lacazette, Aubameyang, Rashford, uh, Sane, I've now put in. Mkhitaryan, mm -hmm. Pogba, Van Dijk, Laporte, Robertson, Sissoko, De Gea. I don't know, but I've got 0 0.5 left over in the bank. 0 0.5 left over. What do I do? Right, so this is the total. 52 points it's going to cost me. And cheap at that, I'd say. So, yeah, I've done my maths, I've done my calculations. Uh, do, 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 be active for game week 35, 20th of April. Uh, I mean, I need to do it before. I need to do it in April, basically, to give me a chance of winning the May monthly. Um, this is obviously a huge risk doing it so far ago because obviously people could get injured etc but this is a last ditch attempt I'm doing absolutely terribly in fact let's have a look got another tab open points so I am fourth from bottom so this will put me bottom almost certainly oh no it won't that person's like 500 points behind me no, not 500, it's like 70. Cool. So that's it guys, it's done. The team is ready. The team is live. Uh, this is what we've got. Quite happy with it. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. My bench. Probably even got someone who could be subbed in here. So I, think they, I think they play, let's have a look at their information. Uh, yeah, I mean they do play. Didn't play last match, but they do play in general. Uh, oh no, wait, hang on. Is that today? I don't know. Uh, yeah, anyway, they do play. They do play, so if, if they do get subbed in, you know, maybe it won't be the end of the world. Uh, cool. So it's now several weeks later, <coughs> excuse me, and we can have a look at what actually happened on, uh, I guess, the first week of May. Um, so if we look over the thing, we determined that Man United were the ones to focus on. Um, as such, I I know they were in bad form, but I did triple captain Pogba, so he got two. Uh, De Gea got two, and Rashford got two. Um, so they sort of all got the minimum points that you would expect if they even just played, if they even just like all conceded or whatever. So they sort of all just got minimum points. So I think that says that you can't just look at table deficit. Because the table deficit there was what? 14? Um, so anyway, let's have a look at Arsenal. Uh, Aubameyang did well. Eight. Should have triple captain here, really. Um, Mick, he got two. And Lacazette got two. So again, quite low, quite low. Uh, Liverpool, 
Van Dijk obviously did well. Van Dijk always does well. Uh, Robertson as well. And then just the rest of the team just filling it in. Um, so, you, yeah, guys, you can't really look at table deficit um, as any kind of basis for for fantasy football. And I think that is something that I will take into account next season. Um, I don't really know how to do fantasy football because I am, like, second from bottom in my main league that I'm in. Um, and the person below me doesn't even play it. 